Lewis structures. In this lesson, we're going to be covering valence electrons, Bohr Rutherford diagram versus Lewis structures, drawing Lewis structures, and then the shortcut to drawing Lewis structures. Valence electrons. Valence electrons are electrons located on the outer orbit. In this example here, our valence electrons are that guy, that guy, on oxygen. So the oxygen has two valence electrons, and lithium only has one because we only have one outer electron. Lewis structures. When atoms form compounds, valence electrons are the ones that are involved in the bonding. Valence electrons are the electrons found in the outermost orbit, as we just saw in the previous slide. And the outermost orbit is also called the outermost energy level. Lewis structures show atoms depicting their valence electrons only. This makes them much easier than bohr rutherford diagrams, as well as much faster. So in these two diagrams, you can see the difference between the two. On the left, we have our bohr rutherford diagram, and on the right, we have our Lewis structure. You can see that our magnesium on our left in our bohr rutherford diagram has all these orbits. You see we have one, two, three orbits, and then all the electrons that are found in those orbits. Whereas Lewis structures simply has the two valence electrons. We have this valence electron, and we have this valence electron. And the difference in the drawing is we simply have the name, Mg, and we have the two valence electrons, one and two. So how do we draw our Lewis structure? First of all, we put the symbol of the element in the center, and this is going to represent our protons, neutrons, as well as our inner electrons. These are the electrons not in the outer orbit. The symbol is assumed to have four sides, and the electrons in the outermost energy level are placed as dots on the four sides. Dots are placed singly and are then paired up in the order of north, south, east, and west. So for instance, we would go north, south, east, west, and then we start pairing them up, north, south, east, west. But how do we know the number of valence electrons an atom has? Well, valence electrons are the electrons in the outer orbit surrounding an atom in a bohr rutherford diagram. These are the electrons we draw in our Lewis structure. So you could draw the entire bohr rutherford diagram and then simply take that information and transition it over to our Lewis structure, like we did in this slide here. See how we did the full bohr rutherford diagram on the left, and then we were able to draw the Lewis structure on the right. But there is a shortcut to finding the number of valence electrons. So what is the shortcut? Well, it's simply the group number that the element is in. The group number is going to represent the number of valence electrons, assuming you're going to skip the transition metals, which are these guys right there. So let's try. So the group numbers, one, two, we skip, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those numbers represent the valence electrons for all the elements in that group. So all these guys are going to have one valence electron. All these guys are going to have two valence electrons. All of them are going to have three, and so on, all the way up to eight. And once we know that, we can easily draw the electron configuration in our Lewis structure. So let's draw a few here. Let's just put our group numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now that we have our group numbers on top of our periodic table, we can start doing some of our elements. So let's try hydrogen. Hydrogen is located right here, and it has one valence electron because it's in group one, so we can put that right there. Boron, which is located right here, we know has three valence electrons since it's in group three. So we're going to say one two, three, north, south, east, west. We can pick a more complicated one. Let's try chlorine. Chlorine is located right here. It's in group seven, so it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. And we can do that for any element on the periodic table. This makes our drawings a lot easier and faster to do, while still giving us the important information that we need to know for bonding purposes. Check your understanding. So at this point, I want you to pause the video and I want you to complete these two Lewis structures. So let's have a look. So beryllium. Beryllium is in group two. Beryllium is actually located right here on our periodic table. It's in group two. So we know it has two valence electrons. So we're going to go north, south, and we're done. Sulfur is located right underneath oxygen in group six, right beside chlorine. So it's located right there. So since it's in group six, we know it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And we're done. And that concludes our lesson on Lewis structures.